Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Disney video. I know you're probably thinking right now, what the heck, where are you? Where is your orange background and your bookshelf with all your stuff? Well, I am currently sitting in my living room because I wanted to do a video that was requested of me a long time ago and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And then today just felt like the day. It's beautifully sunny out. I'm sitting here chilling and thought, let's do this. So in the past, I've said that I've gone on some really old previous trips and I have some albums that I actually discovered of said previous trips. So I wanted to do a walkthrough of one of my old trip albums when I went on my first trip ever. This is my first trip ever in 1988. I was two years old or just turning two. My brother was about seven. We went to Disney World for our first time. I don't even know if my parents had been there prior. I think that might have been their first time as well. So in 1988, all that was open was Magic Kingdom and Epcot. <laughs> no four parks, none of that. And so somebody asked me, somebody said, I saw those, those albums, are you ever gonna go through them? And I promised I would, so. This is from 1988. This is an album my mom put together. She used to love the scrapbook and put things in albums and stuff like that. Um, so she uh, passed away like 12 years ago now, but things like this are really nice because I can look at the photos and, and see all of that and see where my love of Disney came from. So this is super old. Pretty sure this is from the 80s. I don't know if my mom bought it on the trip. Knowing her, she probably did. Um, but there you go, Disney World Vacation, November 1988. Holy crap, I was very little. Off we go, and this is my brother in the front of the plane, like a little dweeb, no, I love him. Um, but he got to sit in the front of the cockpit. Do they even let kids do that anymore? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. We stayed at a hotel that was not a Disney hotel. Let's talk about the more important stuff, like our first day at Epcot, or as my mom wrote it, Epcot Center, because that's what they were calling it back then, right? Oh my God. Look at little me and little my brother and beautiful Spaceship Earth back there. Also, what was this tunnel from, you guys? See, this is the problem, you guys. I went so young, I don't remember things, so I don't remember where this was. So if someone could tell me where that tunnel is from, that would be great. Wait, wait, best photo. Look at this. This was in England, I think. Yeah, that says the pub. Oh my gosh. Look at the joy on that face right there. I loved Robin Hood then, I love Robin Hood now. Whoa, Prince John. Man, there were just so many cool characters back in the day. Look at me, I'm just like not even caring. I'm like on Prince John's knee, just like, whatevs. That's cool. I like Robin Hood more. Oh, Pluto as a Frenchman. He's just a Frenchman, I guess. He's got a little beret. Okay, I don't, that's cool. Got Moroccan, Ugh, is that Chipper Dell? I'm the worst, you guys. I always forget who is the red nose. I want to say it's Dale but I'm probably wrong. Uh, Morocco, looking amazing as always. I love that my mom, my mom labeled every single country too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, USA, Germany, Japan, just throwing them all together right now. So I think that, was that the US? Oh my God, they're like cheerleaders or something back there. What is happening in the back of this photo? Yes, there's cheerleaders. Oh my gosh. Sees before it was with Nemo. No seagulls there, you guys. All right, second day, Magic Kingdom. Yeah! I don't know how we got such a good photo of him by himself. There must have been a bunch of people like watching something over here and she was just like, move forward. Good going, Mom. Did, did we really take a photo in front of the restrooms? Dad, what, what are you doing? Oh snap, look at that old school hub and topiary and trees, you guys. This is what the hub used to look like. There used to be a whole bunch of trees and stuff and then now they opened it up and look, I think it's gorgeous now. You can see the castle so well. But isn't that trippy? Like, that used to be there. I don't even know where this is. Is this like fantasy land somewhere? I have no idea what, what is going on. Is this Mickey's Two Town? I don't know. See, guys, I need to know. The people who know where these photos are taken, you gotta tell me, I have no idea. This is great. It just says Electric Parade, which is the Main Street Electric Parade, and then 
the blurriest <laughs> photo ever. Oh gosh. Oh, and then if you're ready for a really embarrassing two-year-old photo, it me. Sunglasses upside down, pretending I'm talking on the phone. There I am. I was kind of cute though, you guys. Like, come on, come on. Look at that, that was cute. Oh my God, there's a character you don't see anymore. Wait, are we, we're outside of Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you see that? That doesn't make any sense. Why? Why? I don't even know, and it looks like my brother's not wearing any pants, which makes this even more amazing. Wait, no, here's Toontown, when it was known as Mickey's Birthday Land. Look at me posing with a Donald Topiary. See, that's where the love started. This was Mickey's Birthday Lands before it became Toontown, and they had a whole show about Mickey's birthday. Look at that cake, man. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love Donald and his little party hat. Whoa, talk about throwback. Oliver and Company float, you guys. I love that movie, I'm not gonna lie. Partly because it takes place in New York, partly because of Billy Joel's music. You guys complain about floats today. I mean, come on, look at this. This is what we had. This is what we had in the 80s. That was it, the SS mishap. That was it, that's all you got. I mean, talk about a glow up, you know? Like, we've really come a long way from these little dinky things. <laughs> and I think that's it. Oh, a couple more floats. Nope, I'm a liar. We got a couple more floats. Um, the SS Mickey was just like a nautical themed parade. It feels like it. I need, what was the 1988 parade, guys? Because this feels like it was the precursor to the big boat in Fantasmic. Well, that was a blast from the past. I really enjoyed going through that, even though some of it was kind of embarrassing and weird, and I don't even understand what half of that stuff was. So I don't know, tell me below, what one, what was the parade in 1988 Magic Kingdom that had all the weird floats? To what was that tunnel in Epcot? Cause I'm not really sure. And I would love to know what your memories are of old school Disney. Did you go in the 80s, the early 90s? Let me know about like some cool character that you met or, or just like good memories that you have of your old trips. But it was really fun to go through this. Um, how wild, how wild, I mean. I'm really glad I held on to it though. Um, but we do have another one um, from 1996, I believe. So if you want me to go through that, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe and make videos every single week. And I really appreciate you guys watching and let me share this with you. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great rest of the day. Bye.